1981 GL 1100 that we picked up for $150 uh, on you know, Facebook Marketplace, and uh, it was in bits and pieces. So the seat, the tank, the everything was off of it, and uh, it had no carburetors at all. But it did have in a box the uh, four intake manifolds. So we've gone the single carburetor route on this, and uh, we put a Solex 30 PICT1 carburetor on it with an ATV air cleaner. And then we're using PVC parts, which uh, this is just a T uh, and two street elbows going into a piece of PVC. And then the middle plenum part here is 3D printed. So I made it to where it hooks up to the carburetor. And uh, basically you do that on both sides. And uh, it just one, one single carb to run all four cylinders. And uh, this is the um, this is the other side here. The um, I was using something called sling tees, which I'm not going to use again. On the other side, I just used a regular tee. You have to cut them down a little bit to make them fit. But uh, pretty much, you can just get them right next to each other, and they fit right into these uh, these pipes. The ends of this is one inch PVC, and the ends of these fit almost perfectly into this uh, um, the, these intakes. And uh, to show you, it actually does work. We're still working on the uh, on the linkage a little bit. It's kind of janky down in there with uh, using uh, some zip ties to make it work. But there's a solution for that, and I'm still working on it a little bit. The next uh, next print is going to work fine for that. So here it goes. Now, one of the problems it has is it has a. Um, it has a uh, uh, electric clutch, or an electric choke from the Volkswagen. So when you first start it, it'll be closed and it, uh, it doesn't idle real well. You just have to grab it for a second. It works fine, but we got the engine running pretty good. And uh, when you get it up to high speed... Runs pretty good there. It does a pretty pretty mean zero to sixty. So haven't had any real trouble with it. Um, uh, it's running a little bit rich right now. We're working on the the right um, uh, jets to put on it, but this is what we got. So I'm gonna shut it down. So yeah, and it seems to it seems to run pretty pretty decently. We haven't had any real troubles with it. So, just thought I'd show you what's going on here. And, uh, yeah, that plenum there is, uh, is something I designed and 3D printed for this particular project. Now, it's, it has a couple little issues with that. Uh, 3D print leaks a little bit. I mean, the gasoline gets in it, and it, uh, it seeps through it because 3D prints aren't particularly uh, perfectly liquid-proof. But uh, I'm going to use gas tank uh, liner paint and paint the inside of it with that because I mean it's really easy to get to every part of it and it's it's gas safe and um, and works pretty good the next iteration I'm going to do is these are slightly at a down tilt at seven degrees and uh, these come out straight so what I'm going to do the next print is I'm going to put these in at a uh, seven degree angle so that they go up to this and then straight down into these. So everything has to be straight here instead of tilted. This was a kind of a pain in the ass to mess with. So uh, the next one I make is gonna have a down angle on it and uh, that, that'll fix that problem. Uh, and uh, the linkage problem, I'm gonna use a um, an eye bolt, a quarter inch eye bolt to go through this center plenum piece. So right now I've got two holes down at the bottom of it down here. So right down here there's there's two holes in the bottom that the um, see, yeah, that this uh, bracket goes into and then the uh, the linkage goes into that and it goes it's too short it goes up too much of an up angle to the carburetor. So instead I'm going to put a hole in that which is closer and uh, have a uh, have an eye bolt on it 
it just pulls it straight across. So that's the next. That's the next. Uh, this is the design I've been around. using. Um, we've been messing around with this one in the bike right now, and it's kind of chunky. It's not exactly the best design. Um, I have problems. We can't get a nut under one side of it, and these holes here for mounting the bracket for the uh, accelerator cable, um, they just don't work right. The, the only accelerator cable comes up to here and it has to run at an angle to the carburetor, which sits up here. So I have changed design to uh, this guy here, and this should fix the, a lot of the problems. Um, first of all, it's not as chunky. It doesn't need the, doesn't need all that uh, extra plastic on there. Second, um, these are now at a seven degree down angle, so you can have flat PVC uh, connectors right into the uh, into the manifolds or uh, not the manifold, the intakes. And then I have set this up to put a quarter inch eye bolt that you run through here, and it'll run up as high as you need it to, as long as you get a long enough one. You put a nut on each end, and then you have a place to hook your um, have a place to hook your accelerator cable into. And that'll go pretty close to straight across to the carburetor, which will make things a little bit easier. And I also, you know, made it to where it doesn't have that horrible, chunky, triangular design going on there. So this is the new model. Uh, I haven't printed it yet, but it, I'll, it'll be printed in a few minutes, and I'll see how it goes. Uh, I'll do an update on that when I'm done with it. So just thought I'd show you what I'm doing. Thank you.